How to become a scientist. Since the sciences have many fields, there are many career paths for budding scientists, depending on what you enjoy most. For example, if you love zoology, you might become a wildlife scientist who studies animal behavior, while a chemistry whiz might decide to be a chemist whose research might cure disease. Whether you hope to work in a lab one day, want to conduct field research, or plan to teach the sciences, becoming a scientist can provide rewarding, exciting work experiences. You can set a path for your career by focusing on your education and looking at the world like a scientist. Setting the groundwork. Take the necessary preparatory classes in high school. Starting in high school, and continuing into your undergraduate years in college, you should take classes that teach you the analytical and critical thinking skills you will need to be a scientist. This is a must to get a leg up later in life. You'll need to be well specialized in mathematics. Scientists in the physical sciences use a great deal of mathematics, particularly algebra, calculus and analytical geometry, while those in the biological sciences use math less often. All scientists need a working knowledge of statistics, too. Consider going to science camp during high school. You'll do more intensive projects than you do in your regular science classes in school. Start out with the basics in college. While you will specialize in a particular discipline later, you'll need to take basic courses in biology, chemistry and physics to ground you in the basics of each science, as well as the scientific method of observing, making hypotheses and experimenting. You can also select elective courses based on areas of interest or to discover new areas of interest to help you define your specialty. In a year or two, you can commit to a more specific branch of science. Skills in one or two foreign languages may be helpful as well. This allows you to read older scientific papers that haven't been translated into English. Additionally, being multilingual will enable you to collaborate with other scientists from across the world, as well as help you pursue research opportunities in other countries. The most helpful languages to learn include French, German and Russian. Declare a major in a field that intrigues you. After you've gotten your feet wet and you're familiar with the directions this career could take you, declare a major in a more specific branch of science. Planetary? Medical? Psychological? Geneticist? Agricultural? If you'd like or if your college's lack of options necessitates it, you can wait to declare something more specific later, aka grad school. A general major like chemistry is fine, too. Get an internship in college. It's best to start making connections and doing work as soon as possible. Contact one of your professors about an internship, you may be able to get your name associated with a paper your team publishes, too. This will get you applied lab experience, which is going to be helpful for going to grad school and looking for jobs once you graduate. It shows you've been taking college seriously and have a grip on what's expected of you. If you want to be a field researcher, pursue an internship with an environmental organization, such as the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Hone your writing skills. You'll also need to write well as a scientist, both to obtain grants for your research and to publish your results in scientific journals. Classes in English in high school and technical writing in college will help you polish your skills. Read scientific journals and keep up with the field. You'll be in those journals yourself, in time. Look to their work for structure and the basics of a good scientific paper.